The mouse market is heavily influenced by track-heavy games such as Apex Legends, which might not even require ultralight mice for consistent performance. But the sheer ignorance and neglect for heavier, even medium weight options today is crazy. I have to go back 10 years to find a solid, decent shape that weighs just 90 and scatter the darkest corners of the web to find myself a Def Adder Elite. Not everyone performs well with minimal friction, which ultralight options provide. In fact, many people need friction for consistent results, yet the industry says nope to that and is moving in a direction that favors ultralight mice. Now add virgin skates to that and a glass pad and you can practically blow on the mouse to make it move. This sort of trend is ignoring all the other options that a lot of players need and that truly sucks. But let me clarify, if you can handle an ultralight mouse, then you should absolutely take advantage of it. Good for you. But while a heavier mouse won't allow you to flick as hard, it will offer more stability. So why aren't people making heavier options anymore? It's, it's crazy to me. There's a broad audience that needs it. And for years, the market has tricked me into believing that I need a lightweight mouse to perform. A friend of mine once told me I would perform better with a lightweight mouse, and I carried that with me for years. It didn't help either that I managed to get a killer time with an ultralight shaped on aimbots. If I attempt this with a heavyweight mouse, it's not even close. Which means if I'm easily persuaded, I'll probably throw this mouse in the garbage. Then I go play a real match and notice I became the garbage. This is the exact reason why I value consistency and stability over peak performance for 15 minutes. And once I started going back to the heavyweight champions, I was no longer appearing on the bottom of the scoreboard. I can go from missing everything to simply hitting every single bullet. It was like meeting an old friend. My aim was back and everything made sense. But Maximo, use an ultralight mouse and get a mouse pad with lots of friction. Which is something people will legit say to me, but they don't know what they're talking about. Do you know how much of a difference it makes between a 60 and 90 gram mouse? You can't just get a mouse pad with high amounts of friction to fix that. The mouse is still going to feel very, very light. It's the biggest contributing factor to the amount of friction that you'll perceive when playing. It's also the actual product that you're holding in your hand. Now, some people will say it's just the shape. And while shape does matter, it doesn't change the fact that you're holding a 40 gram mouse that you can accidentally throw into the wall if you're not careful. Everyone says shape is king. But after going through 43 different mice, I strongly disagree. Weight is king. Then you can go for a shape that fits your grip style. I would love to see the trend in the market change. There are still a lot of unexplored heavyweight options that are very interesting to a lot of us. Ooh, what I would do to get a wireless and improved Def Adder Elite. Yes, one that weighs just the same as the original one. My advice in all this is simply, if you play CSGO or Valorant, which requires a lot of straight bullets and actual precision, try a brick and see how it goes. Not everyone is built to use an ultralight mouse. Now share this video to Twitter before Zoe EC1 falls down and hits your face. Peace.